everybody welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be doing a do's and don'ts for how to draw a realistic curly hair along with the structure of a curl and also how to render hair more realistically i have also done another do's and don'ts video of a hair which is more general overview of the mistakes that people make while drawing hair so i'll link that in the card up above so you can check out in the end of the video so firstly i'll do all of the don'ts and then we will cover all of the do's for the curly hair drawing but now let's get straight on with today's tutorial with the don'ts first so the very first common mistake that a lot of beginners make when they are drawing hair is that they do a really harsh dark outline and the, they outline the shape of the hair and they don't put in any of the individual lock and the main curls and clumps of the curls and then they just go in and just try to fill in the all of the space so the next common mistake that a lot of beginners do is that they just go in really dark shading initially rather than building up curl structure or different clumps of the hair going in the different direction and this will leaves the hair study really really unrealistic So the next common mistake that every beginner do is that they just draw spiral motion curls over and over again and hopes that it ends up looking realistic hair. So you really need to look at the individual shapes of the hair or structure of the hair study whenever you are attempting a realistic drawing. Especially when you are doing a curly hair, you really need to look at each of the curl to get more observation regarding your hair study so that's how you can draw realistic by by observing each of the section of the hair especially when you are doing a curly hair drawing next common mistake is that using your finger as a blender when you use a finger to blend your drawing you have a lot of oils on your finger that will ruin your drawing and make your drawing so much messy and greasy as well so the next common mistake that every beginner do is they just try to draw all of the strands or curls which makes you realize that it is difficult enough to finish all in one go so i recommend do not try to draw all of the curly hair in one go try to draw one individual uh, section at a time okay the last but not the least mistake that every beginner do is that they use a big eraser to add the highlights which will makes your drawing uh, very unrealistic and a very cartoonish so those are the common mistakes that i see beginners make when they are trying to draw curly hair now i'm going to show you how you can improve those and prevent them and how i'd like to draw realistic curly hair by my own way so the very first thing is draw light in sections sketch out the basic structure of the hair instead of doing all of the hair in a spiral motions and it's really important not to draw every single strand of the hair so the next thing to do is block in each section of hair i'm blocking in the direction of each of the little section of hair and i'm blocking in using a reference photo where the highlights and the shadows are going to be with the basic outline of the structure of the hair and i like to use the lines rather than using a circular motion because the hair is obviously a strand of the hair so our hair looks more natural when we do using pin lines so i am just blocking in the basic structure of the curls then later on i'll shade it out So the next thing is work on each curl. For drawing curls, you need to draw more of a curved 
version of hair strands which will look like more natural version of the hair so what I'm doing here is just by looking at the reference photo I'm drawing all of the curls go in a sort of pattern where the hair is going to be some of the some of them are loose curls some of them are slightly tighter curls so work on each individual curl to make your curly hair study more easier and realistic So the next thing is to create a highlight of where the strands are going to be. I'm using a, an eraser here to pulling up some of the highlights and you have to use a very small eraser to do the highlights then a big chunky one. Also make sure that you use the blender like blending stump or tissue or any other blender to avoid getting grease onto your work. After creating the highlights by using an eraser, I'm, I'm going to fill the spaces between the highlights with the mechanical pencil. As I finish the half side of the curly hair drawing, now I'm going to work on the other side of the hair more precisely, like I'm working hair in a more in-depth shadows to really pop up the curls. I'm using hair a blending stump to softly blend out everything and to get a smooth kind of tone emerging sort of the values on the highlighted areas and softening everything out so you can see each curl of the hair. One last thing is that you really need to adjust the shadows. Adjusting the shadows is as much important as the highlights so for avoiding the shine that is coming out from the graphite drawing I am overlaying the shadows with the black pencil to enhance the curls with, with, where their in-depth shadows are so I'm using here a black pencil for for the coverage of the shine that is coming out from the graphite pencil Okay, now I'm working on the overall hair study to adjust the details and tweaking up some of the uh, details that I really want to adjust that out. And that's it for today's one. So that's it for today's video. I really hope you found it useful and found some tips in there that will help you to improve your drawing. If you are new to my channel and you like this video, I'll be doing a lot more do's and don'ts with you and I do a lot of tutorials as well. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out any of them. 
Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video. Till then. Bye.